mail call. Let's go to the studio and check this out. Whoa. Whoa. Warning. No stupid people beyond this point. Damn it, not again. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, I have my first fan mail. Let's see what it is. So after I had posted a video on the cheapest one person hot tent, I had asked you guys if you wanted me to do more Amazon reviews on cheap gear and other gear from Amazon. A lot of you said yes, and one of you, one of my subscribers, asked if they could pay for the next tent. And I said, why not? So we got to talking, and he asked me which ones I was looking at next. And this is one of them. Now this was listed under the brand Pre-Self. This is the store and brand that it's selling it on Amazon. It's the cheapest three-person hot tent that Amazon has listed. When it finally arrived, it's actually made by a company called Mountain Cattle Camping. So let's open this up and see what it is. There it is. Mountain Cattle Camping. So a subscriber by the name of Casey in North Dakota reached out to me, said that he loves my content, and he'd like to pay for the next hot tent that I want to do a testing on. And I thought that was just so cool. Thank you so much, Casey. He had one request. No, actually, he had two requests. He wants me to sign something on the tent. <laughs> my autograph. Somebody wants my autograph on this tent. That's, that's, that's so cool. And he also wants me to send it back to him when I'm done with my testing. He wants me to test his gear for him before he uses it. I'm honored. I'm honored. That is so cool. Turns out Casey's in the military and he's getting deployed to Texas for the next year for training or something like that. Not 100% sure. I want to say thank you so much, Casey, for your service, for everything you do for our country. And thank you for this. This is, I am so excited that a fan wanted to send me something. That's just so cool. Anyways, let's get into this. I, I think I've said that a few times now, but let's actually get into this and see what it comes with. Ooh, Velcro strap. All right. Looks like we got steaks. It comes with 12 steaks and eight uh, guidelines. I wonder if the guidelines are already hooked up to the tent or we gotta do that ourselves. That's kinda cheesy if we have to do it ourselves. Here are the aluminum stakes. I like that they're silver. Won't be losing them. They are very lightweight. That's, that feels pretty light. So we got 12 of those stakes in here and these must be the eight guidelines. I don't see any cord tensioners on here. So minus one off the bat. Here is the aluminum tent pole. All the little bags has their logo on there. Mountain Cattle Camping. Same with this one. See? Kind of like that logo. That's pretty cool. And then one stove jack. This feels much thinner than the, the cheapest one person hot tent on Amazon. Feels much thinner, much cheaper, and you have to cut the hole yourself. I do like the fact that you have to cut the hole yourself because you can make it the size of the pipe that you have, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's look at this tent. All right, so here's the top of the tent. It's got a hanger too, so you don't need the pole. You can hang it up with a tripod that you make yourself, a ridge pole of some sort, or just hang it down from a tree. It looks like it's sewn right into it. And just from pulling on it, I can see I can see the threads from the seam, but I don't know if that's gonna affect it. This whole top, we're gonna have to check the seam taping, but let, let's, let's pull you in here close. Right here, there's extra fabric sticking out. That sewing job is not the greatest. And this is just the cap. This is the first thing I looked at once again. Uh, look at that, that's, that's unacceptable, that's horrible. I, that just leaves room for failure. Leaves room for leaking. Even this top doesn't feel as, as thick or as protected or strong as that one. So right off the bat, that's another, it feels thin, the fabric feels thin. Oh, this is a two door tent. It should have two doors, one on each side, which is a plus versus the one person. Some more bad stitching. 
Right here, some loose threads right at the end. That can be a problem. Right at the end, that's not good. Right here, just, just more bad sewing. Bad quality assurance. Oh, my, my neighbor's still working on a shed. Here's where the stove jack goes. More loose threads here. This is one corner of where the stove jack goes. This thread right here, I hope you can see that, but it's actually cut. It's the last thread where it was supposed to be sewn right there. It's snipped. That could definitely be a problem area right there. And that's quite a few problem areas I've seen so far. <laughs> so far, the, the sewing job just does not look as good as that tent back there. If you're interested in that review of the cheapest one-person hot tent from Amazon, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one, and you can check that out. It doesn't look like the seams for the stove jack are seam taped. So this is the stove jack seam, and this is the top seam here, and then here's all the Velcro on this side. So here's the top seam where the flap attaches to the tent. That is seam taped. But then the Velcro going all the way around it is not seam taped. So every one of these Velcro seams has the potential to leak. It's over your stove. So if you're using a stove, it might not be that big of a deal, but it's going to leak right there. I, I just can't see any other possibility of that not leaking because there's no seam. There's no, there's no sealant right there. That, the seam's just completely wide open. The same with the flap that covers the stove jack. Let's say you're just using it as a tent and not a hot tent. There's the remedy. And Lila or Charlie? Who's that? Lila. Here comes Lila. So every one of the seams for the cover itself isn't seam taped. So even if you're not using the stove jack with a stove, the stove jack itself has a tendency, it has the tendency to leak because it's not sealed. So that's another bad point about this tent so far. These look like the guy out points. There's not much reinforcement for these at all. It is literally just a loop of fabric sewn directly into the seam with no reinforcement at all. Those are not good. I would not trust that to hold down your tent in the wind because now you're just flexing on this seam, which isn't good for a tent. More bad stitching at the stakeout points, which offers zero adjustability at all. There's just so much bad, bad sewing on this tent. It's, it is ridiculous. <laughs> all right, I think this is the last bit I'm going to show you. Look at this sew job, sewing job right here. It comes off of the line and then off of the fabric completely. And this one comes off the line and skewers off to the top. And this is supposed to hold your tent down. This is the this is the stakeout point. This this right here. No buckle for adjustability, no nothing. Alright, I got this packed up back in the bag for now. Let's go over some stats for this tent. It is advertised as a three-person hot tent but it is the same size as the cheapest one person hot tent on Amazon. It's 5.2 feet tall, and it has a diameter of 10 and a half feet, which is exactly the same as that. I don't think that's a three person tent. I don't think this is a three person tent. What's listed as a three person tent, you get down into the description and it says two people or one with a stove. That makes more sense, but why is it listed as a three person hot tent? I just don't know. This three-person hot tent comes in at $87.90. Like I said, it has two doors, two vents, and some horrible stitching problems. This is not going to be a test video for this tent. Next weekend, I will be setting this up and putting it through its paces just like I did with that one. So we'll see how this one holds up. First impressions, I'm not a huge fan. Not a huge fan at all, to be honest. So if you're in the market for a cheap hot tent, Right off the bat, I don't recommend this one. We'll see how it fares with the moisture. I'll put it through the water test just like that one. And I guess we'll find out. Casey, thank you so much for sending me this tent to do a testing. It is so cool. 
I have a feeling it's not gonna do as well as we were hoping. So I'll have to I'll have to do something special for you, cause I don't think I can send you back this tent and hope that you can use it out in the outdoors. I just don't think I can do that. So thanks a lot for watching everybody. If you like this sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'll leave it right here in the middle. If you're interested in that hot tent review testing video, I'll leave it right here on this side. And over here is a video that YouTube recommends just for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.